Hi, is your love life as dysfunctional as Congress? I'm Dr. Brenda Wade, the good love doctor, and I just couldn't resist because when I looked at Congress and what's going on in the stalemate, what it's doing to the country, I thought, you know what? They remind me a lot of the of a lot of those dysfunctional families and relationships I've worked with over the last 20 years in my seminars and workshops and even in private coaching because they have three big mistakes in common with those people that blow up their marriages. Number one, they're only, and I'm talking about Congress and it happens in marriages and relationships, they're only thinking about themselves. It's a I, me, mine, I, me, mine, I, me, mine. Now that's the mantra of a two-year-old. Two-year-olds up to the age of about four, children are very egocentric and they think I, me, mine. And you know that there's no way that you can create a relationship that's healthy if your point of view is it's all about me, my needs, my perspective. How can that work for anyone? The second mistake they're making is they're using that win-lose mentality. That model is, I must win, therefore you must lose. And if you bring that into a family or a relationship, everybody loses. The relationship loses. It's impossible to play winner-loser and have a healthy relationship. Now the third mistake they're making and this might be the worst one, is everybody needs to be right. And being right, as many people have said, is the booby prize in a relationship. And it certainly is the booby prize in Congress. Because by being right, we make ourselves look self-righteous. We make ourselves look as if we're not aware that there's another point of view. And if you can't see another's point of view, or God help us, See the greater good as your responsibility in either a relationship or in Congress, then in this case, the whole country loses. And if it's your love life, your love relationship loses. All right, so the three mistakes are the I, me, mine approach, thinking only of winner, loser, I'm gonna win at your expense, and thinking only I have to be right. Now let's talk about what we do instead. What you can do in your own love life to make sure you avoid shutting down your love life is you've got to think in the language of unity. The language of unity is we, our, us. We, our, us. We, our, us. It's the opposite of I, me, mine. We, our, us. In fact, that's the motto, if I remember correctly, of the United States of America. In unity, there is strength. That's why we're known as the United States of America. All right, so bring that language of unity into your relationship. Also, instead of thinking win-lose, think win-win. How can we find a solution to any snarl that allows the relationship to win, that allows our lives, our family to win. That's what's important. In this case, wouldn't we like Congress to think, how can the American people win? That's what we're looking for, folks, and I hope you're listening to me, Congress. All right, the third and final thing to do is instead of looking to be right, it is important, this is a sign of emotional maturity. It is important to see the other person's point of view. In an ancient Lakota tradition, a way of resolving conflict is to have the two people with the conflict exchange moccasins, walk a mile in the other person's moccasins, see their point of view. That works with couples, it works in families, it works in any relationship that you value where what you really want to do is see the other person's point of view. Now I'm gonna add one other tip here. For you at home, for your relationships, and I think it would work for Congress too, which is think, how can I serve love? How can I serve the other person? How can I be of service in this relationship? And for our congressional representatives, I entreat you, please think, how can I serve the American people and serve this great country 
the United States of America. Because remember, this is the country that is still the world leader, we hope, in integrity, in showing that human values matter. And that means it's we are us, we win when, and we see everybody's point of view. All right, you can write those down, money in the bank, everybody. And if you want more, please join me for a gift, a 90-minute free teleseminar, Unchain Your Love, where you'll learn some things that will help you create the good love you've always wanted. And when we learn better, we do better. There's no magic about relationships except that first part where you fall in love. After that, it's insight, skill, and action, everybody. Sign up right here. You can register for Unchain Your Love, my 90-minute free sem seminar. It's a gift to you. I'm Dr. Brenda Wade, America's good love doctor. All right, Congress, get on it.